Yep. And we're like, you know what? Everybody needs an opportunity at some point. And so we said, you know what? You're opening the show, Eric Knowles. And you that did. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> that, that actually worked. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, what's even crazier is we had no idea if you were going to bomb or if right. you were going to be good. Like, we had no idea. Local comics were pissed at me. I bet. I had been doing comedy. I've been doing stand up like less than a year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you're on the same bill with Sarah the, Silverman and Zach yeah. Galifianakis. The <laughs> night after I performed with Sarah Silverman and Zach Galifianakis, yeah. I, I went and got in line at the comedy store in La Jolla to get on the alternate list to try and do three minutes. Oh. No way. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, I just went right back to work being an open mic. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. sure. That's incredible. Everybody yeah. was like, how did you do that? And I was like, I just asked. You called. Yeah. You literally just called. Like, nah, I know how radio works. Like, <laughs> you know somebody. I'm like, nah. No. Nah. It's literally. Nah. These guys just, are actually just cool. He just threw it out there. It was like, hey, we, we, can I do this? Yep. And we said, totally. absolutely. You got on stage. You did great. Oh, like everybody, amazing. 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. loved it. And, and that was basically the kickoff to where you're at now, yeah, and you're totally. now a headliner. Wow. I can't, like, every once in a while I'll see your name out there and I'll be like, dude, that's so awesome. I really owe a lot to, to, to you guys, for sure, for giving me that chance, because uh, in the days that followed, this was MySpace days. So we have to yeah, remember. yeah. Oh, okay. so, wow. So, yeah, I got right. hundreds of friend requests, like, overnight. Like, wow. Like, P1s, like, just all of a sudden, sure. all of a sudden I had a following. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I just built from there. That's so cool, man. And here I am. Check me out. Yeah, look, look at this guy. Look at Headlining this weekend at the Madhouse Comedy Club. Oh my god! Now you're going to be performing tomorrow night and Saturday. No Easter show. Oh, sorry, everybody. Man. I'm sorry, but okay. I know you wanted to go see comics on Easter, but yeah. right. not happening. 7:30, 9:45. You got to go see Eric. What's been going on since? Talk to us a little bit about how things have been. Oh, man, things have been uh, a whirlwind for me. I re bet. Really. Um, uh, I just been uh, st sticking in San Diego. Like I've had a lot of pressure to move to LA. You know, yeah. people are like, yeah. "Oh, you're ready? Go to LA and get an agent." And I'm like, "For what? To be on a reality show that doesn't have anything to do with stand up?" Yeah. Like, like in San Diego, is such a great town for for, up, for any sort of live entertainment, sure. music, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't believe the stand up comedy scene that there is. I've been getting on stage. I mean, it's been like six years since uh, we saw each other, yeah, yeah. probably. I get on stage three to five nights a week. Uh, now I'm a regular at Madhouse. Like nice. uh, I bartend there sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, because, yeah. because yeah, this is like my first headlining gig, and uh, the feature money is not that you know. Sure, yeah. sure. So I supplement the income. I get bartending. it. But I've also been like the paid regular, thirty-minute guy. Like I'm the middle guy. So you'll, okay. you'll go see the headliner. Uh, like uh, Jeff Richards or mm -hmm. Dave Attell. And right. I'm the guy that goes on before him, and I'll do like thirty minutes. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and huge. just just getting your craft, you know, together yeah. to where you can now headline. Yeah. Which is I mean, that's a, an enormous mm -hmm. thing. It really. I'm trying to just think of this as a, just another show, another weekend at my home club. Yeah. You yeah. Know, but seriously, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, when your name is the yeah. first one up there, I'm you're like, like, what if I go and I don't know my jokes? <laughs> uh, you know, even like, though you do it all the time. Yeah. Even, right. Everybody's like, ah, you got it. Like, I guess everybody like doubts themselves on some level. I'm sure. 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 But but this is gonna be great, man. I'm really excited I'm for you. I'm so excited, man. Madhouse Comedy Club. Go see Eric this weekend. You're gonna kill it. What what kind of stuff are you talking about these days in your act? Uh, let's see. I'm uh, talking about pff, uh, yogurt and whether fruit. Oh, that's on always good. It's, uh, it's a very know. important, yeah. very important issue Hot to deal yeah. with. Hot started a riot downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I talk about uh, the contrast of like I used to be like this young jarhead, this uh, marine yeah, yeah, yeah. living in San Diego at Miramar in the barracks, and uh, not you know no responsibilities, just the world at my fingertips. Uh, and that's when I started doing stand-up because I was ordered to by so, a, a sergeant. Wait a minute. The what? first time you yeah. did stand-up, a guy made you do it? Yeah, my sergeant made me do it. I, I was a private. I Were just, you just funny? And he just hey, goes, yeah, you need to get up there. Because I was always making everyone laugh. And <laughs> the, the, the Marines like to be all serious yeah. all the time. And I'm like, I didn't really, I talk a lot about my, I have a lot of material about my time in the Marine Corps and how I didn't quite fit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they liked me. Like, sure. They just had to do their job. Like, I got, I got busted down, like a lost rank, three times. What? What? While I was in. Yeah. You can do that? Just for, yeah, for goofing apparently. off? Yeah, just for yeah, just being a knucklehead. Oh, dude, that's yeah. crazy. But I got out honorably because like they liked me. Yeah. <laughs> But you still can't yeah. do that. They're like, oh, that was hilarious, Noel, but we got to write you up on that yeah. one. <laughs> Speaking yeah, that's of, That's not in keeping with the highest traditions. Of there's the somebody on the line that served with you. Let's talk to P1 Batman. Oh, Rogers. You know this guy? I do. Batman, what's up? <laughs> that's where he used to go. Really? 
Yeah, it wasn't as lame back then. It was like... <laughs> it sounds a little dated at this point. So, Batman, was this guy always funny? Oh, yeah. Brown... Oh yeah, yeah. I was really known for doing stand up uh, like in the barracks just for the guys. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Like we pull out the speaker and the microphone like plugged into an amp. Get like, out of here. Yeah. Totally. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah, I do remember. Oh, it made an impact on it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Yeah, do you remember it? Oh, oh yeah. then never mind. Never right, mind. this is radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Batman, are you still? Uh, are, you, are you still like acting? I know you were uh, doing some acting and stuff. Wow. That's why I said Transformers. He was doing the Transformers movie. Did you call us when you yeah, were doing yeah. the Transformers movie? I remember movie? that. Yeah. Yeah, you. yeah, I remember that. Sick. We got talented people. We do, to us. right? <laughs> why are you Why are you listening to us? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Right? You guys are actually got careers and stuff. Absolutely. Ha. Huh. Thank Seriously. you, man. We appreciate it. Well, there you go. Oh. Old friends reunited. Wow. Yeah. I don't remember you, and you made an impact, man. That's really cool, dude. So what, what's going on in the personal life? You got any girls or still uh, looking? Or? Oh, we do. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Well, uh, I've, been, uh, I've been divorced since I started doing stand-up. Okay. Hilarious. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad I brought that up. Yep. Yeah. Good times. Good yeah. times. Yeah. That's not a bad thing for me, really. I mean, it was an easy... I know people have bad divorces. Yeah. Like, ours was easy. We didn't have any kids or any money to argue about. So oh, it's like nice. a high five. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you either. Please. Yeah. Like, you're over it. Me too. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. No, but since then I've met a beautiful woman oh. uh, who's smart and has anchored me and helped put me on the right path and really focus my my talents and my attention where they nice. should be. Uh, her name is Becky. I love you, Becky. What up? Shout oh, out, Becky. Love, what up? We love you, Becky. Oh yeah. Well Get done. Tonight. Uh, she, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, she really has uh, helped me out. She has three beautiful kids of her own. We have one together. Wow, so, congrats. So, yeah, I was talking but about the family. So, man. think about the contrast I was talking about this young jarhead who's, oh, this is party, right, party right. And, you know, and all that. And now I'm like, I'm like dad and, and stepdad, even. Oh, which wow. is Which is like being a dad, only nobody really respects you at all. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That makes sense. It's an makes interesting sense. little challenge. <laughs> right, sure. And, uh, it's nice, yeah. Because you're not really my dad. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell me what to do, right. Eric. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can give him money, though. They, sure. They say, hey, that, yeah, hey, yeah. That. Oh, you're the best friend all of a sudden. Uh -huh. uh, that's yeah. cool, man. And I, I see that you've been traveling around a little bit. So yeah. you, you've been to, like, Texas and Arizona, and you yeah. go around. Going out to Florida next month for Dude, the first time. Our club's different. It's really starting in, Like, to... the different towns you do? Yeah, definitely. Like, I did, really? a, I did a, a Arizona, a Tucson, uh, a, like, last month. Yeah. And uh, I find that it was easier in Tucson, I guess, because nothing's funny out there. Yeah. Really. <laughs> but you live in Tucson. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's the top as it gets as yeah. far as that. Everybody was just happy that they didn't get shot. On <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to Tucson, yeah, like, man. Three people got shot while I was there. What? Like, really? Yeah, yeah, like at the mall. Like, who shoots people at the mall? Crazies. Uh, I know, yeah, like crazy. It wasn't yeah. like a shooting spree. It was just like random. Like, hey, I don't like you, yeah. and, and I also have a gun, so let's go ahead and nice. yeah, I'll just shoot you. Maybe here some Mrs. Court. Field's cookies, yeah. and then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, maybe a pretzel. That makes sense. Pretzel. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is great, man. I'm so excited for you, dude. This is so awesome. You've blown up. You're now yeah. headlining you. Madhouse Comedy you. Club this weekend. I'll see you. Performing em. tomorrow night, Saturday night, 7:30. <laughs> 9.45. Good catching up with you, dude. You too. Thanks, Thanks for coming so. in. That was awesome. Yeah, I love it. All right. We'll take a break. More of the show when we get back. Thank you, guys. Of course, man. And then, uh...